20 years to say yes to Strictly. And Has I, it been everything you hoped for? It's been the best two months of my life. It has been fantastic. I have enjoyed every second. So it was Movies Week on Strictly. Absolutely amazing. Toya left uh, because obviously Nick was given a bye, which is obviously when he's had a week off due to another injury that he's got. Hopefully he gets well soon. But everyone is saying that shouldn't he not have just kind of bowed out, let Toya carry on for another week? Should buys even be a thing? Yeah, I feel like buys have been used in the past. I think that we've seen um, a couple of people use them, but maybe a bit later on in the competition. Um, and it does seem really unfair. Yeah. I thought Toya was doing really well. And I feel that if Nick Knowles was still in the competition, he would have gone home. It would have been him in the bottom two with Paul. So I think that it does feel really unfair. And if I was Toya, that would be a real hard pill to swallow it that would, she's yeah, gone, yeah. knowing that he's going to be able to dance another week. Exactly. And look, I know, I'm sure he's properly injured, Nick, uh, and they have lots of medics on, on site to kind of check everything out. But I feel like his injury's moving, isn't it? Wasn't it his, his arm, now yeah, his leg? Yeah, he, he hurt his arm changing a tyre. He's had such a bad time of it, hasn't he? Hurt his arm changing a tyre and then like jumped off something or something like that in the rehearsals and has now got some sort of other injury. He just can't, he can't catch a break. But do you know what? I do think if it was between him and Paul Merson, so obviously he, him and Karen were in the bottom two against Toya, I think Paul may have gone over Nick. But then there's this favouritism row that a load of people are saying online, the judges are favouritism, like they, they think Paul should be through to the next round, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, like, I just don't think Paul's very well, good. Well, Paul didn't really dial it in this week, he did he? Did. He was really he was going so through bad. the motions. The fact that he got the scores that he got was quite impressive, given that he was just like, I don't know, giving it, like, it felt like the lowest, the lowest. possible energy. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I think there's probably an element of maybe they know that he's a big draw for the dads, he's an ex-football player. Yeah. So they probably want to keep him in a bit longer. So maybe there is a bit of favouritism. I feel like the judging can be quite inconsistent. You're a quite a stickler for the, the I don't know what I your like thoughts. I like the steps yeah. and you like kind of like the musicality. romantic yeah. musicality. You, <laughs> like, you like a bit of Pete and Joita, don't you? You like that kind of thing. I'm like, no, I think, you know, Paul's just not very good. At the same time, though, I love watching people that aren't good at dancing. Yeah, same. Like, remember Les Dennis last yeah. year? He was so bad, but it really had me hooked. And I think I've got that same thing with Paul, bless him. Um, but, you know, we were talking about the, the scores, weren't we? And they're so high already. So many eights. So many eights and nines. And, and Tasha is just like sailing through. It almost, you almost think, well, what, what's the goal here? Like, what point are they going to get to? It feels like everyone's trying to be really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since the investigation, yeah. everyone's trying to be really nice. <laughs> But I think I think they can still be objective. Even Craig is like dishing out the sevens. I'm like, come on, you I need know. to like, you know, be a little bit edgy because otherwise it just doesn't create a journey, as I said last week. You know, it doesn't create like a, a storyline arc. Otherwise everyone's just gonna be really good and it's quite boring. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I just don't know how, I mean, Sam Quek is a good example. She, yeah. She, she looked amazing, but yeah. she was incredibly wooden. I don't think the dance matched the outfits. But she got amazing marks. Even um, her partner Nikita was like, what? Yeah, How did they get such good marks? Visibly shocked, didn't he they? started, he started yeah, screaming. Yeah. <laughs> that was really entertaining to watch. But I, I mean, they're really, they're being just very nice and very generous with the school. Strictly seems a bit like that though at the moment. Yeah. I feel like it's lost a bit of something. You know, it used to be this like cozy family show. Now I feel like they're just a little bit like, I love it, don't get me wrong, and I'll always watch it, but it feels like they're going through the motions a bit. Like the dances, when they used to be bad, do you remember, was it Anne Widdicombe? And she was being like pulled around the dance floor. And that was like a really bad dance, right? And Craig would completely like rip them apart yeah. with like his, yeah. his critique. Yeah. But now he's like, oh, well that was a little bit wooden, yeah, yeah, but yeah. let me tell you how amazing you are. And you're like, come on, Craig. Yeah, he starts off bad, but he'll always give them yeah. a compliment. And I just think something needs to give. What I would say is, Pete, Pete's dance. I mean, I would have given that tens across the board. In really incredible. Big, big fan of thrusting, are we? Thrusting, <laughs> just the outfit. It was like a very saucy sexual. I, I don't. I well, it was certainly it. very sexual. I mean, I I would have liked to have seen a bit more dancing. No, it was just no. Him, like, flopping, <laughs> flopping around. I'll I mean, take flopping around. I really? Be any time. <laughs> I mean, certainly the chemistry between him and Jawita is like on Amazing. fire, isn't it? Amazing. I mean, we've seen some new pictures that have emerged today. 
in rehearsals, looks like they're having a little cheeky snog. Who yeah. knows? Um, some reports um, transpired over the weekend that things have grown romantic no. with them, which doesn't surprise me one no, bit. I mean, they're both all. single. Joey is a very good-looking gal. Yeah. Pete is, you know, handsome. Nadario. Yeah. yeah. He's. Ha I mean, his his list of exes goes on and on and on. <laughs> Megan McKenna, Jess Wright, Maura Higgins. Wasn't that a thing? Maura was Higgins. To name, to name yeah. a few. So he loves his brunette. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry for you, Lottie. Oh, in that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think that, yeah, I mean, I, I think that we can safely say that they are kind of getting on very well behind closed doors. So it's not a showmance then? Because, you know, we've seen, do you know what comes to mind? Do you remember Joey and Vanessa on, on Dancing on Ice? Right? That was Joey definitely Essie. a showmance. Yeah, but is, is this not one of those? Because I don't want it to be. I'm like rooting for them. I think there could be an element of both of them. Certainly, I think the Strictly romances work really well for mm, the show. And yeah. I don't think that anyone behind the scenes at Strictly, unless, you know, unless there's like a marriage involved, they don't do loads to dispel those rumours. Yeah. I think it all, it plays quite nicely on camera, it encourages people to tune in totally. to be like oh they aren't they um but i do think they're probably i think they probably are enjoying some um, romantic time i the hope scenes. so they were on um it takes two the other day um well this week and honestly like so I think there was a comment saying that it looked like they'd been married for 10 years. <laughs> he looks at her like she is, I mean, she is a goddess, but he looks at her like that and I'm rooting, I am rooting for them. Could be my potential winner now. Could oh, be really? Oh, well, yeah. that definitely does help them go further in the competition, doesn't it? Yeah, and I know I said Chris last week, Chris McCausland, I, I do really like him and I do, but, you know, I just... Pete gives something else. I don't know what it is. It's like it's such an enjoyable watch. Yeah, I know what um, you mean. But we have to talk about a comment that Toya made on It Takes Two. She said, everyone's saying it's a dig. She said, if you don't want to do a dance off, get rid of Chris. I don't know what to take from that, but essentially she's saying, I guess he's never going to be in a dance off because he's already the like Neil said. You've already chosen him as your winner. Do you get what I mean? Right. I see what you. Sorry, it took me ages to compete that. I was like, what does she mean? What is this riddle? It is a bit of a riddle. <laughs> I think people have taken it as a dig. Yeah. But Chris, I think everyone is saying he looks like he's the front runner. You know. I think that just the fact that he is the first blind contestant. Yeah, it's really hard. It's How can you go against that, really? And, and if everything he does is phenomenal and awe-inspiring. Yeah. So maybe, maybe maybe Toy did feel like the writing was on the wall and, you know, maybe she has got a bit of sour grapes, but she I still really enjoyed watching her. I loved it. And She's going to have to do her husband's cooking again now. <laughs> She'll start with yeah, her boo bar yeah, again. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the boo bar will be back. Um, but let's move on to what have we got coming up this week? I mean, there's probably going to be a new theme. Oh, yes. So I was going to say there is a new theme that the Strictly team have just announced. Nice. Um, it's not going to launch on screen until the first weekend in November. Wow. So we've, so that if you think about existing themes, what, what is missing? What would you like to see more of? Well, I was thinking because it's October, but I was going to say Halloween. But no, we're doing that's Halloween too, still. We're doing don't Halloween worry. Still. Yeah. Oh my God, I mean, I, I did tune in this week thinking that it, uh, Halloween had come early looking at some of the costumes. I know. And Wonder Beck looked a bit scary, didn't he? Oh, did he look terrifying? He didn't look good. Craig looked amazing. Craig looked, looked so amazing. good. That's when I was like, no, I'm not feeling it at all. Halloween, obviously, we've got coming up. Yeah, that's I like safe. a bit of glam. Hollywood would be fun. Hollywood would be good, I don't yeah. I don't know if they've done that. They've done like around the world, they got rid of that. And they've done a love theme. Are they bringing that back? Valentine's Day. Valentine's I mean, that, that's Day. a good shout. That's yeah. a good shout, Lottie. No, the new theme is icons theme. Oh, icons. So that brings to mind for me, like lots of music icons, yeah, like yeah. David Bowie, Elton John. Yeah. Um, Beyonce Kim and Kardashian. Yes, but that's what I mean. It doesn't just have to be music icons. It can be like movie icons. Yeah. It could be sporting icons. We could have a David and Victoria I mean, dance. Some of them are icons in their in their own already, aren't they? Yeah, there could like, be a Bruce Forsyth. I mean, it's oh, open to that interpretation. Would be good. Oh my god, you know it would be so good if they did like an icons, as in they all dressed up as someone from Strictly. Can you imagine? That would be great. I want to see Tess and Claudia on that dance floor at some point. It'd be awkward if someone did like a tribute to Arlene Phillips, <laughs> who was like famously sacked. Oh, anyway. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, I wonder if they're getting asked who they'd like to be or if they're just told. Yeah, in terms of um, the choice, I, I think they are told. Do but I, I, I do think though, however, say um, one of them was saying, you know, went, went to 
producers and said, I really want to be Britney. Like, that would be me. I'd, de- I'd want to be Britney. Which is, yeah, I've, I love Britney. Well, I don't know who I'd want to be, you know. <laughs> then I think maybe they would take that, that into consideration. Yeah, of if, if you were really desperate to do something. But I think, obviously, they have to um, make it so it all kind of complements each other. Yeah, yeah. So they'll probably already have an idea of what, oh my God, I can't wait to see who everyone is. And another little exclusive. There won't be anyone being Beyonce because the pros because dance. Because Beyonce's going to be there, <laughs> Hannah. Yes! That would be, that would be, that would be a key for the BBC. Is she singing? <laughs> no, no, she's not quite going to be there, but the pros are doing a group Beyonce themed oh, dance. Incredible. And Johannes is going to be the kind of lead, and we're going to see him kind of form into different Beyonce's. So oh, that'll be good looking. Sasha Fierce. Oh, I love that. Oh, my gosh, that's going to be so, so, so good. Who else can we talk about? Win Evans. Did you see him as Mrs. Doubtfire? Mrs. Doubtfire. Okay, he Win Evans incredible. was amazing. And this brings me back to Katia's had a very colourful personal life. We yes, all like to talk about she what she's has. doing away from the dance floor. For me, Katia is just the best choreographer. I feel like she's so creative. She's great at um, comic, like bringing in comedy to her dances. Um, And it reminded me a little bit of when she was partnered with Ed Ball. She always like goes between the legs, you know, like she's always just quite funny. So I do think that there was a little bit of that. And I think like, again, his his marks are really high. So, but he's another, I think he's a bit of a dark horse in the competition. Yeah. I think he's so good. He's got a great personality. And he's just like quite enjoyable to watch. He's like really funny yeah, and he it. uses the fact that he's a bit bigger and round to his favour. He's he's very like in control of himself and I think that um well, he's an actor, so he he's can definitely act- like yeah. turn it on and off. So yeah, I I think that he will do well if they keep going down the comic route, definitely. Absolutely. Who else have we got? Who else can we talk about? Oh, Dr. Punam Krishan made history, didn't she, with Bollywood? Yeah, it was really insane. cool to see uh, so Bollywood nice. for the first time in the yeah. couple's choice. Yeah. And I think that it, I do think that like a lot of people watching will really appreciate seeing that because uh, she was saying you know, there was no one on TV doing this sort of thing when I was growing up so yeah I'm sure lots of people watching really enjoyed it yeah. and I do really like her she oh. seems to be such a nice like genuinely nice so person so nice so nice and we didn't really know much about her yeah. did we before Strictly arguably I don't even think she was like she was a doctor on Morning Live I don't That's think it. that she was like um, you know such a big celebrity yeah 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 well she's she's super super good I think they'd had like influences of Bollywood before but it really surprised me that they'd never actually done a dance like a Bollywood dance yeah. like and it was amazing to watch it was beautiful. and Gorka is one of the because he's such a long running uh, pro on the show he's so popular he's so like popular. so I think that he will help secure her votes to keep yeah. her in the competition for longer so that leads me to final question Last week, who did we say was going to win last week? Who did we want to win? You were Pete. I was Pete and Joita. You've Pete, haven't you? I, so uh, this week, I really enjoyed watching J.B. Gill. I thought did he you? was really good. You've barely spoken about well, him. Well, I know, but also something else about J.B. Gill. I think he's pulling some strings behind the scenes. Do because you? Because every, every contestant gets two audience tickets. Yeah. I noticed he had three supporters in the audience. Rochelle. Rochelle and Marvin. Marvin. And um, Aston. Aston Marigold. So I was like, oh, okay, like he's the got his support there. Oh, but the goodness. other thing I was going to say is they're all really like doing a lot of cross referencing. They always do cross reference to the celebrities in the audience, but we're seeing a lot of that this year. Do you think more than normal? So much. Like Vernon was there so supporting much. Tess. We, this oh, year. we needed to talk about Vernon very quickly. Vernon supporting Tess. I love it because that's never really happened before, has it? It's never really happened, yeah. not that I know of, but. He was really smiling, and like every time she was on screen, they kind of panned to him in the background, and he looked so proud. And um, well, I, so it's one so of my nice. friends was actually also just in the audience watching as well, and she said that like in all of the breaks, Tess would go over her and give him kisses. No. So they seem more loved up oh, than ever, so which is cute. So loved up. Yeah. They're a stunning couple. Well, my winner from this week is P. I hope he wins the whole thing oh, now. I'm wow! Back at him. I've changed. Chris is still up there for me. But okay. P, P all the way. There we go. Watch this space, I guess.